are you where you want to be in your career? If you're not, the only reason may be you. Well, here to explain is Dan Lear, motivational speaker and coach. He works with individuals, companies, and athletes, helping them take it to the next level. Well, Dan is also the author of a brand new book, The 10-Minute Coach, Daily Strategies for Life Success. You may recognize him when you see him. Yes, because he is also America's coach. He is featured on Home Shopping, every the Home Shopping Network, every month. And uh, we'll chat with him a little bit about that in a minute. But first of all, <clears throat> nice to have you on the program. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Well, what I loved about your book is when, and you talk about all aspects of life and achieving right. life success, but you do concentrate on career, one portion of the book. Absolutely. And you start off by telling the story about a guy that you ran into in Washington, D.C., young guy, 26 years old. Yep but making a quarter million bucks, and he taught you an invaluable lesson. Yeah, this was eight or ten years ago, and I was a young guy really looking for success, grew up in a Midwest family, parents were teachers, you know, limited belief systems about what was possible. And I met this young guy, he was really very positive, and he was making a quarter million dollars a year. And I said, hey, can I grab a little breakfast with you? Can I pick your brain about success? And he was really positive. He said, yeah, sure, of course. So we go out the next morning, and I've got my notepad out, and, and I'm ready to learn from this young guy. And we start talking about making money and quarter million dollars and go to the next level. And he stops me. I mean, literally five minutes into our conversation, he says, Dan, can I share something with you? I'm like, yeah, 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 what is it? <laughs> and I got my notepad out, right? And he says, you know, I don't know what you want to do with your life or really where you want to go, what kind of vision you have, but I can tell you one thing right now. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, what is it? He says, you're never going to earn $250,000. And he looked at me just like that. And then and silence I, and I'm, fell. Yeah, and I'm sitting there going, well, I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. <laughs> he goes, no, no, I really like you. He says, but you'll never earn $250,000 with that $110,000 belief system you currently have in your head. And he just sat there and looked at me. And I got it. I totally got it. And he went on to just talk about himself and how, you know, you'll never earn $250,000 with a $100,000 belief system. Just like you'll never earn hundred grand with a $50,000 belief system or fifty grand with a $15 an hour belief system. And, and it, it doesn't matter. The numbers don't matter. It's all about the pattern stays the same, though. Yeah, in the lead into <clears throat> this interview, I said the biggest problem could be you. Absolutely. And how much of it is that negative thought process and then the reinforcement of that that so many of us play into that keeps us from succeeding? Well, it's, it's, it's so prevalent. You know, I do a lot of my work now is obviously I get hired by companies to come in and do keynotes and, and, and training and whatnot for their salespeople. And unfortunately, a lot of people grow up with the, it's, the, it's their belief system. I call it a faulty belief system. They believe, oh, uh, I'm a, I'm a hundred thousand dollar money earner, or no one in my family has made over eighty grand. So they go out into the world, and whether they're selling cell phones or insurance or whatever they're doing, they might have a great month. They might make ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty grand in one month, but it's uncomfortable for their belief system. So guess what they do next month? They shut down. Yeah, they underachieve because they got to get back to where they're comfortable because their belief system says that they're not, I don't earn 250 grand, they're, they don't have that yet. So when I talk about reaching your next level of success, the foundation of anybody's success is their beliefs, you know, what they think about themselves. You know, I'm a top sales professional. People always buy from me. I earn $250,000 a year. Those kind of thoughts that are in your mind. You have to replace the negative with the positive. You have to because they control what you do. Your beliefs control your behavior. You won't get yourself to do something you don't believe is possible. I mean, I, I tell a silly story because it makes sense to people. If I was a single guy, which I'm not, and I saw a woman that was really attractive, and I'm thinking, oh, I want to take her out. I love the way she walks, the way she talks, but my head's saying, she'll never date me. Uh, she probably have nothing in common. Well, she'll embarrass me in front of my friends. You know, the question is, would I go ask her out, yes or no? And the answer is no, mm. because my belief says she won't go out with me. Same thing. If you don't believe you can earn 250 grand or 500. You won't do what's necessary to get there. They always say when you're, it's always about New Year's too, about you know taking it to the next level of right. your career, you know, set goals. Right. There needs to be something more specific about that. I mean, are these long-term goals? Are these daily goals? Are these monthly goals? What is your best advice for people when it comes to goals? Well, I've got a chapter in my book called Goal Setting and Vision. And I've studied, I've worked with some top people. All of my clients right now are seven-figure money earners. And I've really broken down a system to help people get it. Because whether you're looking to lose weight or make more money, some people put this daunting task in front of their face. And then they have a bad month and they just quit. They say, oh, I'm not able to do this. So I, I talk about, yeah, first you have, you have to have a vision. You have to see yourself. You have to smell it, touch it, everything of who you want to be inside of your mind. But then on the, on the goal strategy, you have to break it down into daily achievable goals. So for instance, if you're in sales and you got to say, here's what I should do, but no matter what, let's say hypothetically, no matter what, every single day I'm going to make 15 cold calls, fresh new cold calls, say 10. 
No matter what happens, my kids are sick, it's raining, it's snowing, I'm making 10 a day no matter what. I should make 50, but I'm making 10. The bottom line is if you just do your minimums, your minimum goal at the end of the week, that's 50 calls. At the end of the month, that's 200 calls. And if you look at the research, you're probably doing more than the other guys if you're consistently doing 200. Yeah, and what about the failure? Mm -hmm. You know, because it really sets some of us so far back. We become right. so discouraged. Okay. I, it goes back into that negative thinking. I was right all along. I'm really not that good. I really can't right. see because I failed. I failed not only last week, I failed the week before that. Mm -hmm. How do you get rid of that? You know, and, and that's really, a, I believe that 90% of our success in business and in life has to do with our psychology. And that's what really what my books are about, teaching people how to manage their psychology, so to speak. And I talk about failure is really one step closer to success. And I tell a story in my book about how I met a guy years ago and I literally asked him, he was a very, very wealthy guy, and I said, how could I be as successful as you? And he says, do you really want to know? And I said, of course. And of course, I got my notepad out again, right? And he says to me with a straight face, he says, fail as much as you can, as fast as you can. And I sat there kind of in a trance. I'm like, yeah, yeah well, what's the real answer? Yeah, that's what he said. And he goes, you didn't get that, did you? And I said, no, he says, fail as much as you can as fast as you can. He continued to say, the only reason why I'm sitting here and you're asking me these questions is because I have failed more than any other person I know. And I've learned from each one of my failures, which has caused me to be successful. So in your mind, if you know that failure is one step closer to success, then you'll keep going. All right, it's in the 10 Minute Coach. Dan Lear, America's Coach, also featured on the Home Shopping Channel. We're going to have this interview on our website and also we'll give you a link to his website for more information. Dan, a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you, I enjoyed it.